Hey, man, say, man, what it do, baby? It's your boy, Time Cat, man. Steak and Shrimp TV. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to give y'all one of my stories, you know what I'm saying? Everybody keeps asking what I did to go to prison or what sent me to prison or this, that, and the third. So I'm going to let y'all know how I ended up in prison. I'm going to give y'all a little story real quick. Probably about seven minutes worth of it, at least. I'll try to condense it a little bit. So I was in White Oak, Texas, which is, you know, right outside of Longview, which is my hometown in East Texas. And, uh, I was waiting on a light to change. I knew the speed limit was right there by my high school. I knew the speed limit was 30, and I'm on a motorcycle that doesn't have any insurance on it, and I don't have a motorcycle license. So, the cop turns left on me on a yellow light and passed me this way. My light turns green. I take off over, go down by the school, stand about 27 miles an hour under the speed limit. So, as I'm going up the hill, not gaining any speed, I just happen to want to have this gut feeling that this law was going to come mess with me. So, I look behind him, showing up. Law was on my back, going like 70 over the little intersection, man, trying to catch me. So, this police was actually breaking the law, trying to catch me to see if I might have been breaking the law. Which, unfortunately, ain't. I happened to be breaking the law. That's neither here nor there. He shouldn't even have to break a law to come find that out. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. So, um, when I topped the hill, I waited until I went over the hill to where I couldn't see in the morning. I smashed it. I was on a, uh, I was on a Honda CBR. Uh, F, F4, FYI, you know what I'm talking about, one of them bad boys, man. It was not the baddest boy, but it, it do something. So anyways, I'm take off from the lot. Wow! I get to the end where it's a T, and I, you know, slam on the brake, slow down, bust the left. Cops nowhere in sight. Take off on them again. Go to where it T's again, bust the right. Cop nowhere in sight. Take off up the road. So, man, I'm feeling like I'm doing something, getting away from him. I'm on a two-lane country road in the country. Not using my brain. So I'm going like 140 miles an hour down this road. And uh, I didn't realize that when you're going that fast, when you take the time to look behind you like that, when you look for just a second, when you turn around, you don't went so far that what was way up there is not that far up there anymore. You feel what I'm saying to you? So I just happened to be going around the corner as I'm leaning it in. I knew I wasn't going to make it. So I started hitting the brakes and I just had to slid it up like this. I hit the embankment, flew in the air. I feel like something grabbed me like this, throws me on the ground, and just slides me. And as I'm sliding on my back like this, I was looking up thinking, man, it's a pretty night. That's what I was thinking. I don't know why. Anyways, I see these two telephone poles go past me. One on each side. And I was like, dang, I started flipping. So when I stopped flipping, I sit up like this. I thought, whoa, the motorcycle was coming at me. It hits the telephone pole, and half of it goes that way, and the other half of it goes that way, right? So I was like, oh my God. And I was like, ha. Ah. I was like, oh shit, here come the police, I gotta get up and move. So I go to jump up, and as I go to jump up like this, I fell down. When I fell down, my leg was like this, in the middle of it, like right here. This part of my leg was draped down like that. So, um, anyways, excuse me. So anyways, my leg's hanging, it trips me out, and I start screaming, ah, help me, help me, you know, some real... Not the most stiff stuff to do right then, but, you know, I, my leg was hanging off. Don't blame me. Don't judge me. You'd have did the same thing or worse. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, police get out, draw the gun on me, and they like, be still, be still. I was like, I ain't going nowhere in my leg. Look at it. I'm holding it up, and it's dangling. I'm like, help me, help me. And he's like, I'm going to shoot you. And I was like, no, I need help if you are not going to help me. Because he didn't call nothing in. I didn't hear no ambulance call, nothing. So I pull out my cell phone. He's like, hey, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. I was like, it's just my phone. I'm calling my brother and I'm trying to hit the phone, call my brother. <sighs> oh, my leg. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run. Please forgive me. That's where I messed up. Keep this in mind. That statement right there is what just got me. So I said, I'm sorry. I apologize for running and asked the dude for some serious help. You know what I'm saying? I should have kept my mouth shut. So anyways, um, I call my brother. I tell him I'm done. Wreck the motorcycle. Come get me. He's like, man, I ain't going nowhere near the laws. You messed up. Man, I'll come holler at you in the jailhouse. I'll come get you out. I got you. I was like, all right, bet. So, next thing I know, the ambulance shows up. I'm on my way to the hospital. I go to the hospital, and uh, I was hurting, man, and they gave me some kind of uh, medicine that had me throw. You hear me? Made me feel stupid good. Like, I didn't even have a, no leg problem at all. Anyways, um, then I... uh. I remember I was laying in the hospital and I, and I heard my music playing. I was like, what is that? I said, did I die? Is my music in heaven? 
And then as I opened my eyes and I looked up, there's a, a dude nurse and a chick nurse. And they stand there looking at me. And the dude tells the chick, he's like, look, I told you that was him. Hey, hey. And he's like, say, say, is your, your, your name's Tomcat, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, I told you that was him. I was like, what is going on? I, th I think I'm in another realm or something. I'm like, can you give me another uh, dose of that medicine right there? Make me feel good. He said, man, I got you. And that's all of that. Next thing I know is I'm getting up, they checking me out the hospital, telling me to call a ride. I'm like, call a ride? What, what did the po did the police think I died or something? Cause they let me go. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, cool. So I call, hey man, y'all need to come up here and get me right now. They let me go. There ain't no police. Please come get me. So my brother ended up running up there and getting me. I leave the leave the hospital, you know what I'm saying? And then I didn't hear from the from the police or none of that. I didn't hear nothing about it for over a year, you know what I'm saying? I done had the, the surgery on my leg. Uh, I done recuperated from that. And I just happened to be back in Longview visiting my people. And my homeboy wanted me to ride with him to the bank. And he got this raggedy truck. And I was like, man, you... But he was real proud of it, you know what I'm saying? And so he... Since he was proud of it, I was proud of it for him. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was raggedy banger, piece of rust buggy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway... We get pulled over because his license plate's barely hanging on, I guess, what we got pulled over for. And the police is like, hey, I remember you. You remember me? I was like, nah, I don't remember you. It was a chick law. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want ran from us on the, pole, on the motorcycle, huh? I was like, man, uh, you know, I plead the fear. I don't want to talk about none of that. And they was like, yeah, we got you. And they called me and I had a warrant. I was unaware of this. So I ended up going to jail that day, sitting in jail for two, three days in White Oak, Waiting to see a judge. When I see a judge, they set my bond and they have to wait for me to get shipped back to Greg County. Now I'm sitting in Greg County and it's been like a month. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting there I'm trying to get a hold of Lucky. I can't get a hold of Lucky. I'm trying to get a hold of anybody. You know what I'm saying? I can't get a hold of nobody. Anyways, I finally get a hold of Lucky and he's like, I'm in wherever Lucky be going all over the place. And he's like, but I can get you when I get back. Just relax. Just chill for about a week. I was like, Damn, I already been in here a month, man. Come on, baby. Come get me. Anyways. Lucky ended up uh, sending the money for me to get out. You know what I'm saying? And um, my people had to get someone to come sign for me. Anyway, I get out of jail and I go and I'm, you know, doing my thing. Anyways, I end up going to court. <clears throat> now here is where it messed up. In the meantime, between time, I didn't talk to my lawyer and he said he could have got me off if I just just shut my mouth and wouldn't have said that. He could have said that I didn't know the police was back there because the police never hit their lights until I'd done wrecked. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so... He done made a deal to where I'm just going to do, uh, like, four years of probation. No big deal. Just, you know, report once a month and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cool, no problem. Pay him and leave me alone. So, I go uh, I go to court. Now, me, Lucky, Roly, Leo, we all had went to Denver, Colorado the weekend before this. Man, let me remind you this. This is right after this is what happened. New Year's at Lux House party was insane uh my birthday party insane again which is four days later january 4th and then we all went to colorado to see dank dog and perform in colorado um so we all go and we had an epic time there it was fantastic too so when i get back i go to court lucky's i'm staying at lucky's at this point in time so lucky's like man just go to court and sign your papers and i'll see you when you get home i was like all right bet take off go to longview Go to court, and uh, in in court, uh, I'm supposed to, the deal was I was already going to sign for the probation. No problem, right? So I go up there ready to sign. I ain't doing no tripping. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my lawyer come to me. He's like, okay, we're going to get you signed up for this probation, da, da, da. And he goes, uh, can you pass a drug test right now? And I was like, uh, yeah, for everything but weed. I just got back from Colorado like two days ago. So my weed intake is probably through the freaking roof you know what I'm saying? he's like oh no that's not good i was like what you mean it's no good i said i'm good my my entry uh your analysis right i'm cool right he's like nah man the judge ain't gonna go for that uh he's got this pet project though it's called the deer unit <clears throat> anybody in east texas know what deer unit is it's all bullshit ass uh fake ass rehab where a bunch of old crackheads and shit like that is at uh acting like weirdos all the time so i didn't fit in there so anyways so the judge tell or my lawyer tell me he's like, look, I can still get you to probation, or you can go to this deer unit place. It's only six months long. You're gonna get to wear your own clothes. You get to smoke squares, and you know it's like you you cool. You just chill. You you there's no fences, none of that. You people get to come see, and you get to leave on the weekends. I was like, okay, that sounds good to me. I can do that. I call Lucky, Luck, blah 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 blah. 
Lex said, Boy, you better take the six months because otherwise I was going to have to go do four years in TDC. That was my other option. It was take this probation with the deer unit or go to TDC. And I have to decide all this in like 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, called Luck. He says that's a good idea. He's like, I'm going to shoot you $100 a month for however long you gone. And uh, you'll be cool. You come back out. We'll do a, a, a release and we'll make a CD. And we'll just have a bottle and ass time. And I was like, I right, bet. So, that was the original plan. And boy, did that go wrong. Stay tuned for part two.